Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to the International Brendan Fraser Film Festival of North Carolina. What are we watching? We have Airheads. Airheads. We could not find this streaming anywhere. So, I got on eBay. I kept getting outbid. People want this film. I lost three Airheads <laughs> DVDs in a matter of like a week and I was pissed. But you know what? What? I feel like that bodes well for the quality of this movie. I was thinking the same thing. Like this, this is a movie that people want. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be good and I'm really shocked that I've never seen it. I've never seen it. What do you think it's about? Three brilliantly smart geniuses who are really into music and to be popular, they, they give off this persona of being airheads okay. to try to get girls and be famous. So I'm thinking it's about three like somewhat stupid guys in a band and they're trying to make it big. Yeah, that's actually probably what it's actually about. Mm -hmm. So watch along with us and let's talk about it later. Here we go. Airheads. I hated it. <laughs> really? I hated everything about it. All I have to say is that I'm really glad that we only paid $9 for this DVD. Oh, I feel like we paid way too much. This, there was a little surprise when I opened up the DVD. Really? Yes. A bounty paper towel. <laughs> a bounty paper towel. I don't want to know if it's been I can't used. believe you're even touching it. Well, I mean, it's been in there for a long time, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, there shouldn't be any COVID left on this. <laughs> oh my God. This could be a statement from the movie. Like when Brendan well, I Fraser felt like this was appropriate. takes a piece of paper and wipes it up his rear end. You you curled up into a ball and you, you hid under the blanket. I did. Um, this movie, it's about uh, three guys in a band. They are willing to do anything to get their song on the radio to the point where they hold the radio station hostage. With water guns. Filled with hot sauce. There was a... Pretty good cast, yeah. actually. Brendan Fraser, Adam Sandler, Steve Buscemi, Chris Farley, mm -hmm. David Arquette, Kramer from Seinfeld. Kramer. Amy Lacan. Lacan? Lacan? From Cry Baby Girl and School Ties. I don't even know where to begin on this. I feel like this is how I felt after watching 20 Bucks. I just don't even want to talk about it. I saw you getting ready to film this and I was like, she is not in a good mood. She's like in a dark she place. She is, this is going to be really difficult to edit. <laughs> Come on, Whitney, you got this. Just like pump I up. I hated it Pump so up the energy. Much. Yeah. I hated it, Dizzy. I know. <laughs> oh my God, don't take it out on me. In the very beginning of this, I was thinking this seems like something that I would have enjoyed if I had seen it when I was like 15 or 16. It was supposed to be funny. And, and I it watched, makes me wonder like, I, what's wrong with us? No, no, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with us. <laughs> Chris Farley has to go to a club. This guy is standing there with a nipple ring and he oh rips the gosh. nipple ring out. And I, I grabbed myself out of sympathy pain. I had a jolt that of hurts. pain kind of run through me. That hurts, Whitney. Do you know from experience or? I've had many a nipple ring. <laughs> Torn out, I Torn might add. Torn out. Okay, I am gonna say something that you might find shocking mm -hmm. and repulsive. More so than this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Steve Buscemi. Oh no. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> Just hear me out. Not during the hostage situ situation, but like right before when he was climbing up the ladder and stuff. He is limber. He moves like a fox. Your taste in men is quite memorable. There was an attraction there that cannot be ignored. I feel like we can just start rating this. Great. Let's just Let's get, get this down over with. to business. I am so ready for this, Dizzy. Listen. What? I hope you know how excited I am to rate this movie. She's mocking me right now. No, because I want to get this done. I do have to say, sorry, did you notice these dots? They were definitely there when we oh, first started. Yeah. Are they still there? Yeah. It's from pressing this pen into my temple out of like anxiety. Let me just, you have one, two, 
three, four, five. No, like it's more like six. There could be one right there. There seven. probably is. There's maybe an eight. The music was loud. It they was were stressful. screaming the whole time. Emotional depth. One. The girlfriend, she breaks up with him in the very beginning and then she comes back. They're like all over each other. And then they get in another fight. She Dude, has glass. to like fight him in order for him to say that he loves her. Uh-uh. No. No. To go as far as throwing all of his things out of the window and destroying his his property. His CDs. How did they have CDs? That was like 1994. Yeah, there were CDs in 94. I guess, wasn't it kind of a new thing? Which when did CDs become did available? When Mariah Carey Butterflies CD come out? Because that's the first This is CD. how you measure time. That's Before Mariah Carey Butterflies or right. after? That's the first CD that I ever purchased. Another one that we could measure it against is Yanni. Oh my god. Because our parents, our parents had, had, that's like had the a few first. And Yanni Kenny G. CDs. Kenny G. Talk about hair. We need to... Sh I don't remember the cover. Before. Mariah Carey might sue us. Well, she seems like the it, type of person who'd be like, take that off take your that, YouTube channel. Take that off, bitch. She's from the South, in case you didn't <laughs> know. Is. Take that off, bitch. Take that off, bitch. <laughs> Mam count. Okay. Mam count zero mams. Okay, next. Comedic performance. I need, like, silence. I need a moment. Okay. <sighs> Although I can't think of a specific time when he made me smile, I know that there was a time. So. I'm giving him a .5 on good faith. I was willing to go up to a 1, like, if you really found something that was no. hilarious. He was supposed to be funny. They were all supposed to be funny. Was this funny at the time? Like, you know there's at least one human out in this world sure. whose favorite movie is Airheads. And I Abs want to know who Listen. they are and why. Tell us why. But I actually don't really care that much. Best actor in dramatic <laughs> role. Seven is the nomination, 10 is the win. Right. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna be like really close. Gosh. <laughs> okay. Truth be told, I don't know why I put one. To give him a zero would be I cruel. Don't, I don't even think that his acting was that great in it. I, I think it was a terrible part. I, I think it was agree. terrible writing. I completely agree. I don't agree. feel like he truly inhabited this character. I just think it was a terrible movie and unfortunately he was in it. <laughs> so maybe we should give it a zero. So sorry, Brendan. No. Physical, physical prowess, prowess and stunts. stunts. Okay, now listen. He came outside of the radio station. A mm. crowd had already started to gather. And he was like, yeah. You know, just like that. Just like that. And there's mm. like a, um, what are those called? Like those concrete pillars. Mm. What are they used for? Maybe to like stop cars from coming up. Or it could have been like a cigarette receptacle. Put the cigarettes out in this little like towel, like cigarette An tower. ashtray? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have a cigarette receptacle for me? <laughs> <laughs> it's like this big mm. and he jumps up on it. He climbed a ladder and he jumped through the window in the recording studio. I don't remember that, but I trust you. Mm. One. Yep. Okay. So hair. Hair. I wanted to like the hair so much. I and did I too, and really I didn't. hated it. It looked very dry. It looked very dry. Very dry and damaged. And listen, the first time we see him, it's like kind of straight. But then it changed to this bouncy, Whitney, curly but thing. But Whitney, he but must have so... braided his hair and let it air dry. Oh, that must have been it. That's how I, that's it how I so do it. It was so light as air that the, like a... Very gentle wind gust, like, made it fly up. Like, with long hair, there is a very fine line between Creepy Guru and Yanni. <laughs> and which do you find more appealing? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I don't know where I land on the scale. There have been men that I've seen with long hair, and I'm like, Whoa. wow. Yeah, think about this. Brendan Fraser in Georgia the Jungle. I just, we just need to get to that. <sighs> No, we need to get to Mrs. Winterborn. Yes. Then Georgia the Jungle. One. And you know, it's because he has hair. Because he has hair. Hidden talents. Okay. He knows how to ride a motorcycle. That's true. That was a new one. I might have to dock like half a point because of the terrible helmet he was wearing. <laughs> he didn't, it was I... like really close to the head and then his <laughs> hair was like... <laughs> he didn't look good right now. 
<laughs> like if I saw him on the street, I'd be like, <laughs> keep going. They're was singing. Now it wasn't it like wasn't out of this world. Amazing. But he But I it also was he was trying to sing in the style of this genre, whatever it was. Like banger group. Yeah. I know my music. Just like, Just you like know your I sport. know my basketball. <laughs> I mean, basically, he gets a point for motorcycle riding and a point for singing. Swoons. There were girls like running after him, there but was that was girl really hard to count. In the audience, who said something like, "I, oh, want, I want your, your body. body." Yeah. I mean, there was kind of an audience full of women. There was a collective swoon. Yeah. So should we give like, like one a, to the group and one to that woman? That's what I was thinking. Great. Two, two swoons. Temperature. Now, if this was a temperature rating for Steve Buscemi. Which is not, so let's just not even go there. <laughs> Point five. <laughs> Can we just give him a zero? No, because there was a moment, it was after he got off the motorcycle and the camera was like panning up and you could see his knees in, like he had, he had holes in his jeans at the knees. Well, point five for the knees, honey. <laughs> yeah. My notes. <laughs> I know you've been like chomping at the bit to give me those notes, so. I just wanted to bring reiterate some quotes that good because I have some quotes too. I took note of mm -hmm. you ruined my makeup you butt <laughs> that was the point at which I thought oh no it's Whitney not. doesn't like crass language if it's used <laughs> in, an, in a way that if it's used in a way when, where I think it's funny <laughs> then it's fun <laughs> you look like half a butt puppet I wrote that down <laughs> okay I wrote Shut up, dick smoke. I'm, I might start using that. No. Okay, so what's our note for this movie? It does not age well. There were things in there that also, I just found there were, offensive. There were some racial things that I thought were wildly awful. Yes, that, that ruins well, a lot for there me. There were also jokes at the expense of Chris Farley's body. Yes. Which also really bothered like, me. That, really, that really bothered really, me as well. I don't find that funny. I do not no. find humor at the expense of another person's appearance to be funny. I just don't. Can we recommend this movie, Whitney? Mm, it's no. a hard no. Oh, we didn't even watch the special features. I don't need to watch them. It has the music video, Feed the Gods classic, classic. by White Zombie. One of my all-time favorites. They made an appearance in the movie. Did you know that? I recognize them. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> I didn't. Well, Whitney, you might not know this about me, but um, I have eclectic music tastes. Oh, I definitely know. Not to say that I enjoy White Zombie at all, but they have like come across my radar. I mean, in my other, really early years. The other when, day, when I was a child, when you, I get all my music from her. She does. But she didn't share the white zombie with me. <laughs> That's Whitney. just for me, Whitney. It's her fault. <laughs> just think, if I had shared white zombie with you earlier, you would have loved this movie. Oh my god. <laughs> it would have changed everything for you. Next week is In the Army Now from 1994. And we're going to uh, rent that on Amazon, I think. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you watched this along with us, then... Good for you. And let us know what you think about, not our, not us, but what you think about Aaron. We don't want to know what you think about us. I don't know what you Unless it's good things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we, we do genuinely love to hear everyone's thoughts about the films and what ratings they would give. And it's just really fun for us to read. So it, it thank really you is. for chiming in on these videos. And we are so appreciative of every one of you. We'll see you next time. Keep it scholarly. I'm gonna read it like the radio DJ. Oh, oh. Three intelligence challenge rock and rollers decide to take oh, The boys have no choice but to take the entire radio station hostage. No offense to anybody. But if you're saying that Adam Sandler was the best actor in this movie, she kind of that is saying a lot to me. He really always slips here to see. <laughs> I could say a lot about that, but I'm just not going to. We have to tread lightly on yeah, the Adam Sandler front. I will front. agree with you. 